And here's a question. Who is responsible for the safety of diplomatic missions abroad? Who is responsible for ensuring that these missions are not threatened? Well, if we go by the Vienna Convention, it is the responsibility of the state these missions are based in. On your screen, in fact, is a copy of this convention. Let me quote what it says. It says, the Vienna Conventions on the Protection of Diplomatic Facilities state that all states have a responsibility to use every means to protect the consular properties within their territories. All violations of those conventions must be investigated and prosecuted by the states. And why am I telling you all of this? Because one country has failed to live up to this pledge. The United Kingdom. Just look at what happened on Sunday. A group of Khalistan sympathizers entered the Indian High Commission in London and tried to replace the Indian flag with their own. How did such a thing happen? What was the security doing? How could such elements even enter a diplomatic office? These are questions New Delhi is asking the British government. But upon failure to find a clear answer, it has been forced to take a major step, a tit-for-tat move. Have a look at these images. India has started to reduce security outside the British High Commission, also outside the residence of its envoy, Alex Ellis. Reports say barricades outside the UK mission and the High Commissioner's residence have been removed However, there has been no reduction in security personnel posted at the mission. This, by and large, is a retaliatory move, a move aimed at making the UK understand its failure in protecting the Indian mission. The question is, has the message, has the message reached London? Well, it has. Within hours of the move, the Indian mission in London was placed under heavy security. Reports say the Metropolitan Police deployed more than 20 buses in front of the mission. It also deployed mounted troops to patrol the nearby streets. Did it really have to be this way? How did things reach this point? Like I said, the answer is the UK's failure to safeguard the premises of the Indian mission in London. In recent years, we've seen several violent demonstrations by Khalistanis outside the Indian Commission. They come, they raise anti-India slogans, they wave their flags and indulge in vandalism as the British authorities watch in silence. This time, India says it has had enough. If the UK cannot ensure the security of the Indian mission, why should India? This is the argument. The question is, what could come next? Could these tit-for-tat moves result in downgrading of the ties? Could they affect the many bilateral deals between the two countries? Especially the free trade deal. There are voices who want to freeze this deal. I know the demand is a bit far-fetched, but then again, in diplomacy, nothing is certain. For the unworst, this free trade agreement is, in a sense, a pact that aims to reduce customs tariff on substantial trade between the two countries. This agreement covers both trade in goods and trade in services. And this deal is a win-win for both sides. It will ensure smoother trade, not to mention boost business for certain products as well, especially, especially scotch and whiskey brands. You see, the UK is a competitive supplier of whiskey to India. It exported whiskey worth 110 million euros in 2019. But India imposes a 150% tariff on spirit imports. Once the FTA is finalized, this tariff could be reduced or even abolished and this would open up the Indian market to many luxury brands but last we checked the developments in London the attack on the Indian mission 
cast its dark shadow on the FTA. Some are of the opinion that unless the UK guarantees the security of the Indian mission, this deal should not be taken forward. Until now, the authorities concerned have said no such thing. But if these attacks persist, if these episodes of vandalism persist, there is no saying to what extent will India be willing to go. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.